here's where it broke off in a storm, probably last fall. There's even some green twigs still growing on it. So, I should be able to harvest a nice green piece of wood for carving. A cooksa, spoons, whatever. This might be a good find. Let's see if I can get a nice chunk out of it. That's nice. It was starting to bind a bit because it is so green, so that wedge helped me uh, power through it. I should be able to get a small cooksa out of this. So that's my plan. All right, here we are, beautiful day in the woods, the fire is on. So I love these Kapilka cups, the Kuksa, and uh, I thought I'd like to carve one. I much prefer drinking out of this than drinking out of a metal cup. So I got that piece of birch I harvested this morning, so let's try and carve one, or at least get one roughed out today. Maybe carve it over the course of a, a couple of videos, but uh, let's get started. First thing we need to do is split this log. Let's do it right about here. Oh 
Okay, so let's go for it now. Perfect. That worked out pretty well. So I do like this Kapilka cup. So why not use it as a template? I think there's just enough room to do that. Right there. Cool. And I'll probably end up doing something like this the handle so there you go that's the basic shape it's actually about the same depth so it might actually be perfect so now using my axe I'm going to rough that out and uh, as soon as I get it roughed out to where I want it we'll start hollowing out the bowl so you really want to remove as much as you can with your saw and axe. So here's the bowl and I don't need all this wood at the handle. So what I did with my Baco Laplander, I just saw a relief cut. And now I'm going to split this wood here and I'll be able to remove this whole big chunk all in one without disturbing the bowl of the cooksa. Another top should do it. Beautiful. Okay, that's great. So now I'm going to do the same thing here. Get rid of this before I start hogging out the main bowl. All right, so there's the basic shape. As you can see, it's coffee time. Well, I'm not gonna have coffee in the cook sub, but I wanna make some coffee. I'm a long ways from drinking out of this, baby. Oh, this is nice. It's been a couple weeks since I've been out because uh, I've been sick. But uh, in case you guys don't know, I picked up this carving kit a few weeks ago. Played around with it for a little bit in the house. And I really like it. It's from Beavercraft. <clears throat> I did a few spoons. And uh, so now I'm gonna try a kakuksa. <clears throat> this should go okay we'll see now it's not really advisable i don't think to uh do a project this big uh using a hook knife you're better off with a gouge but this is what i have are you like me and just carved a couple things. If you made anything nice, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. I'll take a look at it. I'd like to see it. It's going to take a long time. 
I'm a long way from being interviewed by Zed. <laughs> Zed Outdoors. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Zed Outdoors, check him out. He does these, uh, right now he's doing a base camp build, which is really nice. But uh, he does a lot of like interviews with craftsmen and things like that. A lot of people who carve, work with green wood, things like that. So uh, yeah, it's a really good channel. Zed Outdoors. My carvings are crap, but my coffees are really good. That's probably how that interview would go. Hi, this is Zed from Zed Outdoors. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we'll be talking with Woods Walker 1965. His cooks and spoons are rubbish, but he makes a good cup of coffee. <laughs> That's how that one would go. Well, hello. What happened? I didn't plan on taking it into my backyard, but uh, I had camera troubles out in the woods. Apparently they take batteries. So I wasn't able to finish out there in the woods. But that's okay, because I wasn't going to carve the whole Cooksa on film anyway. What I had hoped to get done yesterday was the bowl. I stayed a little while longer and worked on the bowl, <clears throat> had a coffee, and uh, came home. So, today we're in the backyard. I thought about going back where I was yesterday, but honestly it's, it's an hour's journey for me to go there. It's a 15 minute drive and 45 minute hike. So today it wasn't practical for me to go out. So we're in the backyard. It's coming along actually pretty good. The bowl is looking pretty good. It's about that big. I don't know, that's, that's probably maybe 300 mil bowl. And if I have a 300 mil bowl, I think that's pretty good. So I'm just about done in here, actually. One thing I want to point out with this carving set I have, it has that hook, extreme hook there. Some people don't like that. They even recommend you take it off, but I found it useful in doing a deep bowl like this because you can really use that angle to do the sides. You can see that. This carving's thirsty work. Alright, so, work a little bit on the outside of this bowl. I guess you have to be careful about how thin you actually make your bowl. If you get it too thin and the hot liquids hit, it could actually crack on you. So, I will have to be careful about that. You guys still here? Thank you. Good for you. So actually, it's shaping up. <clears throat> I have to decide what to do with the handle now. <clears throat> so it sweeps up at the front by design. So I thought, I was 
thinking of like a whale tail, but I didn't leave enough. <clears throat> so I think I'm just going to just bring it down at the back. It goes up at the front, so I'm going to bring it down at the back. And that'll give me really something to grab onto, like the crate on my hand. So I think that's what's going to really enjoying this. Why did it take me so long to get these tools? I don't know. Cheap. Okay, let me work on this handle and I'll be right back. Lots to do yet, but this is what I came up with for the handle. I was thinking afterwards that might look pretty cool as a beaver tail. I still may uh, do something like that, but as you can see, my hand grips the cook so nicely. Got a bit of a curve there, so that's uh, comfortable. And it's coming along. So far, uh oh. I don't know if you can see right here, right there, there's two cracks. So I may actually lose this all together, two cracks. Hopefully they don't get any worse <laughs> than they are. But can't get a nicer day than just sitting in your own backyard. Bit of a smoky fire. Sipping on a nice IPA. Carving away. That's it. That's it for today. I think next time you see this, hopefully it'll be done. Hopefully I'll be having a cup of coffee. Still a lot of work left to do on it. In about a two week drying period. There she is. All right guys. So here's what we came up with for today. It's mostly done. Probably a few hours left just smoothing out the outside, smoothing out the inside, and a good two weeks to dry this puppy. And I showed you two small cracks right there. If anybody has any ideas how to get rid of them or just pray they don't get worse, is that all I do? So I'm going to try and dry this very slowly. Hopefully, hopefully those cracks won't uh, get worse. So anyway, there we have it. Thanks very much for joining me for this little carving journey. It was kind of interesting. I had to find the tree, came up with this. It's uh, been a lot of fun. So I appreciate you stopping by. If you enjoyed it, please give me the thumbs up. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that. There's lots more content coming up. Overnighters planned in the very near future. I'm due for an overnighter or maybe a two-nighter. So if you'd like to see that, stick around. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. In the meantime, you take care.